Well, I missed catching that southbound, and if I would have caught that northbound, it would have been dark by the time I got going, and I would have been to the destination before daybreak, so I couldn't have gotten any video going northbound, but that southbound will be coming across this trestle here in a bit. Got ahead of it, so we'll get to see it go over the top here in a few minutes. This is Boone's Creek Trestle. up there on that been across this so many times but I've never recorded video from it there's a good ride right there see how high I can jump uh. Uh. There's that green Procore. I forgot to count how many cars there were. I'll go back. See what number you can come up with, including the locomotives. I'm gonna guess. After it's completely gone by, I'm going to guess and see how close I am. Them little bitty tankers. Well, they're little from here. Almost in Johnson City. I'm going to guess seventy eight. Oh, I should have been on that. That's why I hate about getting down to a railroad yard and you don't see the train come in. Plus you can't really see because of your eyes anyway and what track they're working and shoving and pushing. So that's the deal of it. Alrighty. I hope y'all like that. Yeah, keep an eye out for the Hobo Shoestring keychains. They should be available for sale around the second week of May. Uh, I think they're only $5.99. Uh, I'm going to come out with some self-autographed boards, like the boards that just sold the laser boards. I'm going to personally tag like 20 or 30 of them and then uh those will be up for grabs 
we will see you guys later. Hey, there's Mr. Green Jean's car. See what we got. It's southbound. There's a grainer right there. I can't tell if there's a crew on here or not. Let's see if he's. Turn backwards. Yeah, he's there. See, piston sticking out, so the brakes are on. I just do not see a ride yet. Yeah, there's second to the last car. He may be getting ready to put these engines on the back. Yeah, here in a couple of weeks, I'll have hobo shoestring keychains for sale at shoestringarmy.com. Uh, no pudding. Now here's the front end. That's got to be the three or the yeah nine thirty six or whatever they call it three ninety two. It's just the regular headlight. The ditch lights ain't on, so there probably isn't anybody on it. Now this is the one they're servicing. And there's the extra ones for yard work on the right. But that one's tied up to a southbound. Just not sure if he's done the work or not or if it's got a crew. That last shot I made at the first of the video, that's the tail end of this train in the middle. That double barrel grainer is about the only thing during the day I dare to ride. You'd get seen too well on those other two grainers. Ah, I wish I could get down in that gondola on the end. We're still going to try to catch out on that train. we got to get back over there. But we had to come to... Oh, it don't say Pals on it. But let me know in the comments if you've ever eaten at Pals. Man, it's from local, it's from Kingsport. Yep, pal. This is the first one you said? Yeah, it's the first one he built. And sparrows. Remember them pigeons I was feeding in Fort Worth? Well, they digging them french fries. Yeah, you just pinch them off a little piece. They'll fight over a big one. 
<laughs> no, he took it. Oh, he got the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, he took the whole thing. Well, he is backing them down. Just hope he's putting the thing together. Of course, I can't catch out right here in front of the yard office. I'll have to go clear back way down. But he's pushing over into track three, a cut. I've never seen the green pro core. If we see any power yet. Just eating at pals, so kind of lost track of what what's going in and out. Yeah, come on, train. Get your string's name on it somewhere. I'm ready to ride. Well. guy up there boy look at that I'm getting a gut on me ever since I got hit by that car I've not been as active as I have usually 238 pounds now I normally weigh like 195 well there was a guy on them engines he's waiting for all this stuff to get out of the way the other train going out should be see if I can zoom in and see it over there My second favorite ride, the lip grainer. See them plastic lids there? They go over those holes to keep dunnage and stuff that spills down from up top from spilling all over the concrete floor at the loading place. Them little plastic caps fit over them holes. But you can lay out in between there. But now this, I'd only ride this during the night. Cause you can just see way too easy across there. Even at car level like this, they, they could see you if they was looking right at. Plus you got them two round humps that get in the way. There's another one of them holes that you can put them caps over. It just keeps water and dirt and stuff from building up in there there's your good old tim tin bearings see blue ones like this a lot now 
There's your AEI detector tag. Everything that's in this car will register with this tag. When you pull into a big yard, there will be a, a rectangle. I'll show one in a video. Uh, an AEI detector that reads these as the train goes in or out of the yard and it signals what's in the car. It's called an AEI detector tag. Let's see if I can find that Operation Clean Sweep. It's something the railroad and the and the companies come out with to keep the cars clean. When they unload the cars, they gotta have some kind of unwritten agreement to clean the cars out when they're done. But sometimes you gotta ride on the end like this with the reservoir. And in like big cities where there's a lot of bulls, I kind of prefer riding on this side because all that piping and tubing hides you even better. This is one long train. See how you can just see right in there? It, that's a bad daytime ride car there. I mean, you can fit in the hole, but you can't get your gear in there and yourself. I'm like six foot two, and now I weigh 240 pounds. There ain't no way I'm getting my fat ass in there now. Well, you can see where they, the train put out a lot of grip sand. He was hauling one hell of a weighted load there to put out that much sand for grip. There's an old warehouse. Clinchfield route here. Yeah, he's still got the brake set on. Piston sticking out. And I just noticed this is normally on main lines like this, you won't see a manual switch like this. This isn't a automatic switch. I just heard a, that wasn't a departure horn, but these smaller yards, they sometimes don't exactly go by the book. If you hear two horns like bonk, bonk, he's getting ready to pull. There's the second one. But that may be another train coming in on that other line. Maybe that's what he's waiting on northbound to come in. Yep. yep, that's what he's waiting on. If this one ain't going out, he'll resume working and switching. You know, he could be going out. They just moved the Freddy over onto this one. Yeah, I hear him airing up now. Yeah, I hear him coming. See the piston going in? Hey, there's one of them Tennessee engines. Piston's almost in. His brakes are now released. Well, there's a northbound now. See what all he babies got. Yeah, they're gonna put a crew on up here, I bet. 
that's what he did that train ain't over there anymore he wouldn't be there right there this one is going south that one will be going north as soon as that northbound tail gets out of the way he'll pull he's got to take the crew off of him first Stay tuned. Yep, this one southbound's ready to leave. There's some more of them green pro core. Yeah, leave in the comments if you you've ever seen these green ones. First time I've seen green pro core. Man, I can't believe I'm getting a gut. Man. There's a solo artist tag. There's another good ride. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, he's loaded. He may stop before that tunnel too. There's one more signal light right before you go in that tunnel. I don't think he's got up quite there yet. Well, hey, it's got shoestring on it. It's got my name written all over it. Well, got a good chance there's a northbound and southbound. I'll just have to flip a coin. Yeah, he's using dynamic brake to stop. Because those pistons aren't out. Look at all the gunnage you got to put up with. Big log on there. See tires on him a lot too. He's gonna yank hard. Heck, he may be at the end of that northbound train, just didn't clear yet. Yep. Maybe he didn't finish working. He just pulled a whole nother rack out. Look at that orange stripe on that one. Aww. Aww. Ooh, doggy. Love that sound. What's you think, Larry? I think it's alone. <laughs> I, 
I think that might be the end of it. Yeah, there's a guy on the end. I see them in other engines down. Let's see. Yeah, that other train's gone, but there's a car in, in front of that train that just come in. Oh, he's gonna push back again. Let's see if he puts a Freddy on or... <laughs> yeah, I think he's gonna shove or pick up. Cause that other guy on the right looks like he's gonna hit that manual switch. That guy just picked up a Freddy, I think. I can't tell. I can't zoom in anymore. Uh, it might be his book, his little paper. Yeah, that's what it is, is his crew orders. Yeah, they're getting ready to shove it back. And that other guy's getting on that other train, I think. Yep. Well, that's strange the way they do the cars here. Shove them from the front and the back and the side and through the Adam's apple and through the butt. God. Let's see what that guy I don't see that other guy now oh did he oh on the northbound engine okay I still see one guy walking up that way oh I bet he is cuz that you know what that train that came in when we got here that last car was a gondola that had the Freddy on it. I bet he's gonna hook to that gondola and then leave. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if he can get over there or not. I wish it was darker where I could see my screen a little bit better. I'm gonna shut it off and so I don't bore everybody to death. All right, yeah, he backed into that last the gondola. That gondola had a EOT, a Freddy on the back. So he he dropped the pressure down. He's fixing to do an air test on it. And when it reads 90 PSI, he'll be good to go to pull. But he, all trains after they hook up, in work a yard they all have to do a air test and I've shown in a couple of my videos how the air test is done by pushing that button on the Freddy on the side it tells you how many pounds per square inch that's in the braking system that's what they're doing now air test and then he will be going and then the northbound can do his work and then get going. So that northbound is going to be here at least a good hour, hour and a half. He'll go up toward like Pikeville and then Russell. There he goes. He went on brake. Dragging the brakes. I don't know why he's dragging the brakes like that. Hell, that's dangerous for a worker. 
workers think that breaks your own and get in between there and that happened. And there comes that last car, I believe. Let's see. I can't look directly. I might have to use my zoom. Yeah, I think I see him hanging on the end. No, that's Dang it, he's gone. Yep, that's the one that was up there on the track, wasn't it? Yep, I remember that blue Freddy. I don't see too many of them blue ones either. Here he comes. Yeah, now he's out of the way. Now they're get to get some other work done now that he's out of the way. Yeah, here comes them regular yard engines they just keep here in the yard can't believe missed that southbound hey, going, hey how's it going busy, busy. yeah them Grainers there, they ain't got no floor in them at all. You have to ride suicide. See, now he's going up to hit that manual switch. And he'll get on his radio and radio to the engineer that the switch is open. And he'll back the engine on down. And he'll crawl back on the engine down there. He's undoing the lock on the switch. Now he's switching it. He'll get on the radio next. And radio ahead for the engine to back down now. Then he'll just hop up on that engine when it gets down there. Okay, he's gonna back down on this track then. Yeah, he's gonna come back this way. Back toward us, it should. There must be some cars down here he's going to get. Yeah, even them green lumber cars there, I haven't seen many of them. Yep, there's my one 1952 switch engine, Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe. And there's the crummies, the two cabooses. Got lights inside. Yeah, Dan brought me this cool little layout here yeah i want to thank george 
for sending that card, look at that graffiti on that, uh, I think it's an HO scale box car. And Deborah got your card today, you and, you and Bill sent me. Anyway, there's my little layout I got so far. There's my Norfolk Southern teddy bear. Now I'm going to get me some end scale track and transformer eventually. That way I can run these end scale locomotives. And last but not least, it's a keychain, the side of a rail. A subscriber sent me. Isn't that cool? The side of a rail. Yeah, well, speaking of keychains, uh, mid May, be looking out for that. You can go to shoestringarmy.com and check out all the stuff that will be coming out. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And my cereal. Now, I usually can eat like the cocoa pebbles and the fruity pebbles and stuff when it comes over. My little stickers. Anyway, that's it. Oh, and uh, Dan fixed these. These were broken. They're uh, old scale, old southern engines. They were both broken, so he fixed them for me. Thanks a lot, Dan. I appreciate it.